And then finally, one final item is North Beach, uh, North Beach restroom. So uh, we know that North Beach is a, it's a residential community, but it's also a big tourist draw. In fact, getting reports from business owners like Lynn Frazier, he has not seen that beach as, as busy as it, as it is since he's been operating there. So uh, with that, though, comes the responsibility for uh, hygiene, right? We want people to be able to wash their hands, use the restrooms. We have two bathrooms on the beach today, the permanent fixtures. Uh, and they were built in the 70s, but over time they uh, had fallen into disrepair. And uh, we know that ultimately we need to replace them with new permanent fixtures. Uh, but to get them ready uh, and usable for this season, especially with COVID-19, uh, we did. I did instruct our team to to uh, renovate them in a in a low cost way, but enough to where the the usable and they they look like pretty decent amenities, especially for those that are coming from out of town. And so the 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 uh, the one that's located at Gulf Breeze is kind of removed from the beach, kind of set in the parking lot. That one has been uh, just about renovated. Uh, we've uh, put new a new roof on it, new painting to match the color scheme of the of the peninsula, and some new fixtures. And uh, we've also at both locations put security cameras. That was a concern of the community. And so we have live security cameras at both bathroom locations, not inside but outside. You can kind of see the parking lot. And those are monitored 24 hours a day by the police department. Additionally, Chief Markle has made North Beach a patrol beat. And so there's a, there's a full-time police officer around the clock just dedicated to North Beach. And so between the cameras and the police officer, we think that some of the crime, and not crime, but some of the activity that some folks didn't think was right uh, will be uh, better monitored and probably alleviated. So that one bathroom there at Gulf Breeze uh, will be open up of the first ones, and it's a pretty decent shape structurally for being a 1970s vintage. And then the, the others that are at Surfside, there's a, an original one, and then they did an ADA one. The goal is, is to have those taken off the beach, removed uh, soon. I'm recommending in the 2020 bond program be up to council uh, whether or not that goes on, but we're recommending that that bathroom facility be replaced and actually taken from the beach and moved back away from the beach so that when you pull up into that, that area, it's a city park of sort, uh, you'll have a beautiful view of the beach instead of the two restrooms that you see today. And uh, we'll have to build it to modern standards. It'll have to be raised up, most likely, for the floodplain uh, or the velocity zone uh, issue. And so we're going to do some pre-design work now. It'll be not only the parking lot will be improved, but a brand new bathroom and then a new playground area. That'll, that will be the bond program project. Uh, but in the meantime, so there's something there, uh, hut, running, hut running water and, and real toilet, flushing toilets. Uh, those bathrooms will be upgraded as well uh, for the time being. They'll last us through this season and maybe uh, into the spring and the early summer next year. We think that the turnaround time for the new facility shouldn't take that long. So uh, that bathroom, uh, both those bathrooms have been painted as well. They were some a bright green color that wasn't the scheme of colors that uh, the community wanted, so they match uh, the color palette uh, for, the, for that peninsula as well. So that will offer a uh, person's uh, kind of uh, CDC and health department recommended facilities to have proper hygiene and uh, provide us, uh, some good amenities for those tourists that come as well as for our own residents. So, Mayor and Council, that concludes uh, our briefing. Go ahead. And I'm just I'm going back to the um, the bathrooms uh, on North Beach. I guess just for clarity, uh, Peter, you said we're so we're renovating them, but they're going. The plan is for them to be on a bond in 2020 to demolish them, or yeah, just the one. So there's two. There's one on Gulf Breeze and one on Surfside. Right. And the Gulf Breeze one, uh, uh, let me talk to the Surfside one. So the Surfside one of the two um, has the most, um, is, is the most problematic in terms of location. Uh, it impedes the view of the beach and um, there's residential properties to the left and the right of it. And uh, they've expressed concern that they, you know, they lose that beach view. And so uh, working with Councilman Roy in the community, we propose to the community that we renovate it for now so that it's usable, and then we'll put a new one in the 2020 bond program. And, uh, and that's, that would be for the 2020 bond. The other one that's at Gulf, Gulf Breeze, that one would be in a future bond program potentially, although it's in pretty decent shape and it doesn't really block uh, the beach view uh, in any way. 
So just the one to start with, Councilwoman, for the 2020 bond, but just to show the community that we were serious about it, we're going to begin some pre-design work now uh, with a consultant, one of our, our consult engineering consultants, and it'll be uh, somewhat shovel-ready by the time the bond is considered in November so that uh, final design and construction uh, can begin soon. Okay. Um, do you know roughly what, what, it, what our investment is in these, or will be? What was the what? Sorry. Do you know roughly what, what our investment is in these for, for renovation? For the renovations, it's, a, it's about forty forty to fifty thousand dollars per uh, facility. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Smith. Thank you, uh, Mr. Zanoni. Just a little institutional knowledge on here that we have. Uh, we designed a restroom on the island. It's the same kind of velocity zone. So those plans ought to exist. Uh, someplace there and uh, so it did go through the design phase and, and the cost on that at, at that point in time six years ago about 1.8 million dollars uh, for those restaurants. Uh, Mr. Roy? Uh, I just wanted to add that um, part of what Peter and the uh, in terms of going forward is that the restroom um, this was Seaside correct? That's the name of it. Um, the renovations were uh, the bare minimum in terms of just making sure that it was operational and getting up so that they have water um, and they can get through the summer and hopefully through this entire COVID thing, making sure that they have water and, and hygiene right there. So we didn't they didn't go out and when you talk about renovations it's not a full scale renovation it's just really bringing it up to the point where it could be used yes thank you <laughs> 